apparently when a pagan chieftain was dying, it may have been her father, we're not sure, and uh, she, they asked Bridget to come, he was, he was on, on his deathbed, and she picked up these, she wanted to try and tell him about Jesus, and um, convert him before he died, so she picked up some rushes from where she was, uh, where they were, uh, where they were situated, and she formed them into a cross. This was the only way, I suppose, there was no crosses as such at the time. So she made the first Bridget's cross and he was converted and became a Christian and died a Christian. That's the story of the St. Bridget's cross. And it was always considered then um, very important to have a Bridget's cross blessed at the time of her feast day around the feast of St. Bridget and to put, people kept them in their homes as protection or as a reminder of the, the cross being a symbol of Christianity. So that's just a little, um, uh, uh, that's just a little story about the St. Bridget's cross.